This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to show you how to create lists on TI-83 and 84 calculators. This is really a fairly simple process. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to press the Stat button, and that gives us the Statistics menu. And we're actually right where we want to be. We want to be in the Edit column, and we want number 1. So I just press enter. And what this does is give me a number of lists, and they're filled in already. So what I want to do first of all is clear the lists out. Let's start with list number one. I'm going to move over to list number one. And to clear it, I move the up button up to the name of the list where it says L1. I press clear. Looks like nothing has happened. But as soon as I press the down button one time, it empties that list out. So now I can enter the items in my list. Okay, so all you do now is, let's say we want to enter the list 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'll press 2 and enter, 4 and enter. Notice each time I press enter, it enters the number in the list, and at the bottom of the screen, it's showing me, it's asking me what I want for the next item. List 1, number 3. So it's going to be 2, 4, we'll press 6. There it's written the 6 at the bottom of the screen. When I press enter, it puts it into the list. I'll put in the 8 and 10. Okay? If I want to enter another list, I'll just move over to that list. If there's something there already, I can clear it by going to the very top, pressing clear, moving down, and maybe this is going to be, I don't know, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Okay, take a quick look at the list, make sure they look like what you want, and when you're done, when you want to exit out of the list menu, just press second and mode, and that'll get you to your main street your main screen. If you want to see the lists in the main screen, you can press second, and then for list one, you press the one button. You see in yellow right above it it says L1. L1 appears on the screen, and when we press Enter, it shows us the list. Same thing would happen for the second list. I'll press Second, and then Two for L2. Press Enter, and there's a second list we created. Okay, and that's about all there is to this. You may find that you need lists. Very often students need lists for doing things like linear regressions. So if you want to learn about linear regressions, I'll post a link uh, right here so you can see a video on how to do linear regressions once you've got your lists entered. Okay, that's going to be it for this one. Take care. I'll see you next time.